Good morning, it's Stacy from PeonyLandDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I'm back. So I didn't have yesterday because, oh my gosh, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I was busy yesterday, like super busy, and I had to pick the kiddo up, and then I had to get groceries and get home and finish canning some apple butter, and it was like chaos and mayhem. <sighs> Today, I'm dropping off at Rockstead, so that's the new place, and um, I'm going to go to pick it, grab some pieces out of there that were supposed to go to her. So she wants me to bring some new stuff, but she also wants me to take everything that hasn't sold. So I'm like, mm. I know the McCoy pottery sold. That's it. That's all I know about. Yes, I have my picket keys. Victoria asked me this morning to plug my phone in. Uh, Victoria asked me this morning if I had my picket keys because we were going to go last night. Oh my God. What the hell? Okay, and Tommy, I didn't mean to cuff. We were gonna go last night after uh, I picked her up from volleyball, and then I forgot my keys. In my defense, I was running home from work and putting together the paper, and then I had to take the dog out and shut off the crock pot that had the apple butter in it. I was gonna forget something. I'm kind of glad it wasn't the apple butter. <laughs> I didn't want to burn that. My neighbor's tree finally, like last year, they didn't have a lot of apples. And so we didn't get any apple pie mix. We didn't get any apple butter, none of that stuff. And this year they had a good crop. So I'm busy getting all the, uh, get all that put up. I mean, it's nice to be able to get apple butter. Um, I may make some jelly too. Victoria has requested a pie. So I'll be busy. This weekend is crazy busy, you know, about the tournament. But today is all about getting stuff to Rockstad. Hopefully, I, I have to go get the kid at 2.15. And then she has to get her nails done for the dance on Friday. She has to get fills put in because my mother-in-law had taken her to get fake nails. They have to be filled. As you can tell, I know nothing about fake nails, right? So I guess they gotta fill them for with the growth? Okay. So that's tomorrow, but I, in the meantime, tonight, she has a tournament. Another volleyball game tonight. And I'm like, of course you do, because there's severe weather. So the last time I went to a game at the school, it was severe weather. And we're here we are again. It was storms this morning. It's gonna be severe weather tonight, possible tornadoes, and I'm like, of course it is. Because that's exactly where I wanna be, is in a school gymnasium during a tornado. Okay, perfect. And the, the gymnasium is the severe weather shelter for the school. It doesn't comfort me. Not at all. Not in the least. Not a fan of storms, and I don't really want to drive home in a storm. Y'all, Victoria drove us to school today. It's, it was a bit tense because it's rush hour traffic. I mean, she did a great, she did great. She's a champ. She is a champ. But it started to rain halfway there and then people are all nutty and she's got a lot going on then and I'm like I know she got to learn but good lord mommy's blood pressure anyway let's get to pick it see what didn't sell that we can take to Rockstead 
Um, I'm hoping at least one crate is still available. What the hell is that? I don't really want to run things over on the road. But of course there's cars coming at you the second there's something in the road you can't bypass. Um, hoping some of the crates, specifically she mentioned kitchen stuff, so we'll grab some things like the cutting boards and things like that. And hopefully that's what she wants. But um, like last time she was picking through and, and like half the stuff didn't go in. So it'll be interesting to see what, what goes in and what doesn't. All right, let's just get to picking. I just dropped off that hanging green light that I bought at the All City sale, that mid-century one. Sharon bought it for me to take to, bought it from me to take to Junk Bonanza, so. Yay, that's gone. So I just dropped it off in her booth. Let's go see what I got left in mine. Oh, you guys, I almost forgot about this. So, um, Fred, who's been watching the channel for years, has a thrift flip challenge for me. Well, it's not a thrift one. This was from his house. Wait till you see it. I have sold this chair before. It was in green velvet. It was one of the first pieces I ever sold here at Pickett. It's in really good shape, guys. Um, he thinks I should do a challenge of painting fabric. So this was the chair he is suggesting. He's got several other ones, he said. Oh, I love the wood. We are not touching the wood. That's for sure. Oh, I can't get it in the car right now. I'm going to have to come back and get it. That thing is solid and heavy. I remember the green velvet one. I'm very excited, Fred. I love the chair. Let's test it. Yeah, it's a comfy one. She's the comfy one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can paint this. We do something fun. <laughs> let's shop for paint. <laughs> now, let's see. I'm going to look around and see what I can take to Rockstead. But, um, my goodness, this chair is going to be fun. <sighs> this is too big for my car. Um, but I got to clean out shade and then I can get this in the back of that. But, oh, this is going to be a project. I nearly forgot Fred. So over the weekend, I kind of got busy and I forgot that this was coming. I'm excited about it, though. Don't think I'm not excited about it. I am very excited about it. I'm also excited by the fact that there's a lot of stuff gone in here. Like, gone. And my friend Katie had um, pulled all my stuff out. And she's so sweet. She decorated it all up really nice. Good job, Miss Katie. Good job. Look at the buttons that sold, you guys. The Dahlia Taylor buttons. Oh my goodness. <sighs> That's too funny. I just took a chance on those to see how they do. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Because then they can't see the cocktail napkins. I don't think I sold any in that configuration. Um, these crates are coming out. A lot of these went. The... Yeah, a lot of stuff went. I can't even tell you right now. But a lot of stuff is gone. Hmm. What do we take? What do we take? What do we take? I think I'm going to take the Crocs down there, the crates. Hmm. Maybe the old shaving mugs, the cutting board. All right, let's get it all packed up here. All but two of the spooktacular baking sets went, so that's amazing. I love that. All right, so I filled these two bags. I've taken out, like, the linens. Those might go to Vintage Junkie, I'm thinking, um, because I don't think Rockstead will want them. We've got all this stuff. I may grab that cheese... 
box. See if she likes cheese boxes too. I grabbed a few things that were still in my trunk from the All City sale that I picked up specifically for her. So there were um, rolling pins and tins and uh, salt and pepper shakers because she specifically asked for those type of pieces. And then I got like all my wooden boxes and crates and seems to be her vibe. Um, I threw in a few wild card pieces because you just don't know. I don't think she wants any of the linens, so I'm taking them, but it could be a vintage junky thing. So, and I'm fine with that because I wanted to grab a few pieces out of there to take to vintage junky, including one of my pumpkins for sure. But next month is October and there are still pumpkins to be sold because it's early October. I don't want to short myself all my pumpkins at the same time. So I'm like, uh, uh, how many pumpkins do I want to take? Not too many. I did take, I found a couple more uh, baking sets. I'm going to take all those to Vintage Junkie because I think they'll do well there. But uh, Katie, when she rearranged things, just moved them and I didn't see them. So... When I saw it, there were four now. There are four left. Dude, you don't get every lane. Ugh. So I've got four of the baking sets, and I'm going to put those in, see how they do. And we'll see how it goes. If, the, if she wants any of these pieces, she's got first dibs because I'm going there today. Otherwise, um, I'll take them to Vintage Junkie and see how they do. They're great pieces. That's the part that I'm like, when, when she like discarded half of them last time, I'm going, what? <laughs> it was, it's hard to get a handle on what new shops want. And then when you do, you're like, yay, I'm in. Um, anyway, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure it out. <sighs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Um, Fred's idea for the chairs. So he's got a bunch of chairs and starch pieces. And uh, they're like a lot of them apparently. And he wanted to do like the chair of the month. <laughs> I, he suggested I do that on the channel, the chair of the month. Uh, but yeah, it's a great chair. Um, of course I want it to be green because I love that other chair that I had and I still regret selling it. <laughs> it was, I got it for $4 at a garage sale and it was green velvet, that vintage green velvet with the perfect wear on those arms, those carved arms. And uh, it was dirty. It had stains on it and I cleaned it and it was perfect and I just put it in and I put $60 on it and it sold right away and I'm uh, kind of sad because I was in love with that chair it was just it was totally something that I would keep <sighs> I can't keep them all I can't my living room is is set I mean it's like can't get any more in there not one stick more in there but uh yeah it's going to be fun to do that one. So in my mind, I'm thinking green, but I'd love to hear from you guys what you think of, first of all, chair of the month <laughs> and what your thoughts are on what color we should make over this chair. And keep in mind, I will not touch that carved wood. I am not painting that carved wood. It is so beautiful. We are not touching that wood. It's just the fabric, and it's going to get painted something. We're going to do something to it. I don't know about the stains on the front of that chair, um, how that's going to react to trying to cover it, but we'll find out if I can maybe clean it off. But I don't know. We'll have to look at it. I didn't have a chance to investigate it, but it's a super comfy chair. Super comfy chair. So we'll... 
get it home at some point. I'm going to have to change out my cars and head over there. <laughs> oh, I wish the van was working. But that's a solid freaking chair. I know this. I remember it. It was heavy. So I'll get shake cleaned out and we'll uh, go over and get that chair. Okay, so we dropped off. It's 11 o'clock. And... She had a check for me. That was unexpected. I thought I wasn't going to get a check till October, but I had, it's only like 16 bucks, but whatever, I'll take it at this point, right? So I've got $16. Yay. Um, she took just about everything actually. So that's wonderful. Love that for me. She's having a big sale this weekend. It's a boutique tour in town. So that'll work out nice. Um, now I think it's time for me to go home, get some food, get ready to go pick up the kid and do all that stuff I got to do tonight. And then maybe I might have time to, um, I might have time to clear that purse, do the protective coating on that purse. So get ahead on a video. All right. Happy junkin' you guys. Bye. Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.